Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm down at the very, very southern end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Beautiful morning out here, 74 degrees. Expecting a high of 91 today. It's gonna to be a hot one. Good morning, Becky. I can actually see the screen here. It's still dark out. Hey, Chris. How are you doing? Good, you? Good. One of my friends just bumped me on the back as he was walking out to the beach. But here's all the condos that we always see in the distance. Mariah Bay there. This is where the old Cheeky Hut used to be. The old Vanderbilt Inn Cheeky Hut bar used to be right over there. Some good times were had in the old days. Then they tore it down and built this concrete monstrosity here. Looks like a fortress with all the shutters closed. But that's Vanderbilt Beach looking to the south. I want to show you something interesting here real quick. I'm going to show you how they treat the sea turtle crawls on the county beaches. You can see an area marked off in front of me here. See, they kind of haphazardly put a piece of screen on top of the nest that doesn't go down. It's not a cage. It's just a piece of screen laying across the top. The top. It's a lot bigger area that they cordon off, too. At Wiggins, you'll notice the turtle nest. There. It's maybe 18 inches by 18 inches, maybe two by two tops. This is probably five feet by three feet here. But something interesting about this on the county beaches is when they see a set of turtle tracks, a crawl, as we all know it's called, when they see the crawl tracks coming up the beach, they just go to where it looked like the turtle made a nest and they mark it off. They don't know for sure that there's eggs down here. Whereas at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, just behind me, when you see a nest marked off, there are eggs there. They verify that. So just when you're on a county beach or down in the city of Naples and you're walking along and you see these, it doesn't necessarily mean that's really a nest. That's just where a sea turtle came up and might have laid eggs. That hasn't been verified. So I thought I'd share that little tidbit with you since this nest happened to be close by. You can see it's much larger. Look at that, and there's our beach up there. That's Del Norwegians all along there. You can see the barges way out there in the water, up to the north. You know, I'm gonna take a quick photo of this, early morning here, bear with me, don't go anywhere. All righty, I'm back, sorry about that. Boy, look at the sky. Getting some beautiful colors, some yellows and golds over here. Look at that beautiful sky over there. Gorgeous. Good morning, Naples, huh? Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Too bad that big old condo's there. Well, I hope Roy's enjoying that up at Wiggins Pass. Very, very calm out there. Very calm. Low tide was, oh, about two and a half hours ago. Got 
Got some nice little colors out there. You can see a little bit of red, some pinks. Looks like probably some rain down there to the south. What a difference though between our two beaches, huh? There's Vanderbilt Beach. I suppose I'll have to take a picture of that too, just to show you the contrast between our beaches. I like Wiggins much, much better. Hang on one sec. Hey, I just heard from our friends, Linda and Scott. They're gonna be joining me here shortly. Our plan was for the three of us to walk the beach together and a team up, make it a joint effort this morning. Boy, the sand is really soft down here. Almost fell on my face. And there's a look at our mile long beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. That beautiful. Sunrise coming up there. Oh, gorgeous. Look at those colors. Wow. I have to get a picture of that. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Well, there's the county beach patrol right there, making his rounds. They go out and look for sea turtle nest on their beach as well, but look at that sky, gorgeous. What a beautiful morning. Look down Vanderbilt Beach at the concrete jungle. <laughs> and then as I pan around, our beautiful beach at Del Norwegians. One more photo, bear with me. I just can't resist taking pictures in the morning. <laughs> Loving it. I'm gonna start my trek up the beach, see how far I get this morning. Hopefully I'll be joined pretty soon by Linda and Scott. The water is so clear down here at the south end of the park, away from the dredging. Still kind of dark. The camera makes it look a little brighter than it actually is. Maybe we'll get lucky today and find a big moon shell or a big whelk shell. Just never know. Every morning is different. Here comes a pelican flying towards me. Let's see if he stays. He's just above the water. Keep your eye open there. He's coming right at me. He's going out into the water. See him there? Oh, right just inches above the water. That is so cool watching those pelicans. A lot of fish jumping out here this morning. A lot of little fish. Maybe they'll attract some dolphins. You never know. You haven't seen our dolphins lately. They're here, they've been spotted, just not when I've been doing my beach walks. So don't worry, they haven't gone away. Seventy four degrees right now, expecting a high of ninety one. Water temperatures 
85. Gonna be a hot one today. I don't know what the heat in index is. Gonna have some, probably have some rain this afternoon. Typical Florida, Southwest Florida weather pattern for the summertime. Rain in the afternoon. Peaceful, just walking along here, listening to the waves. Where are you at, Linda? You guys on your way? All right, nothing's caught my eye down here in the water. There's really not a whole lot of shells here in Area 1. Today, I was hoping with some extra eyes that we might find some shark's teeth. That would be fun. When you're looking for shark's teeth, you want to look just out in the water. There's a, this little ridge just along the shoreline. It's hard to see here without the sun, but there's a little ridge here. And that's a good spot to find the shark's teeth, just off that ridge. So at the beginning of our walk, I showed you the sea turtle nest on the county beach, how they treat sea turtle nests. I'm going to come up and show you one on our beach here at Delnor Wiggins at the State Park. Show you how they handle it. Now, first of all, the big thing is that the park rangers verified that this is an active nest. There are eggs here. And they know right exactly where those eggs are. And that's why they put such a small cage up. They put it up right over the eggs where they are. If you remember that other one down on the county, that cage... They mar that was huge. This is maybe 18 inches by 18 inches square. That other one was like five feet by three feet. And there was no guarantee there were eggs up on the county beach. Here, we know there's eggs down there. That has been verified by the park rangers. And always remember, keep your hands off of these. Take pictures. Don't disturb the sea turtle nest, the eggs, the hatchlings. The females come in ashore. No flash photography, especially if you happen to come across a nest that's hatching. If you see an emerging, do not take flash photography. That really screws up the little sea turtles going to the water. Keep your distance. Do not touch them, whatever you do. Here's our beautiful beach. Hey, gorgeous. That early morning light. I love it out here. Definitely worth a picture. Don't go anywhere. Eh, sorry about that. You know the drill. Video or photos, I can only do one at a time. Well, I see a group walking down here towards me. Maybe that's Scott and Linda. I think they brought some friends with them. And we're down in area one again this morning. 
This time we started at the very south end of the park, all the way down at the very end. I figured, hey, it's Saturday morning, I'll give you a, a look at the entire beach here, depending on how far north I make it. It's a little cloudy now right here. A little churned up. I don't know if you can see it up on the beach there. There's a big, not big, but there's a tree laying up there that washed up on the beach the other day. I don't know if you can see it there. The rangers had to drag it up onto the beach. It was on the shore here. Look at that sky. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? Is that not gorgeous? What do you think? Good morning, Naples, huh? I love it. You know I'm going to take a picture. You just know it. It's getting pretty bright though. It's losing its beautiful color. Earlier it was a gorgeous color. Wow, what a beautiful morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. Hopefully we'll get lucky and maybe we'll have a new sea turtle nest on the beach this morning. You never know. Just you never know what Mother Nature's gonna do. Yep, there's the Magyars, Scott and Melinda. Looks like they brought their friends, Mike and Tina. Friends, neighbors. Still haven't seen any neat shells. Very slim pickings down at this end of the park this morning. Now I got four more sets of eyes that are gonna help find some shells. Hopefully this morning we'll come across some shark's teeth as we walk up the, up the beach. That would be fun. Morning guys. Guys, girls. Maybe you, didn't follow, maybe you didn't follow directions good. But What's that? Well, I saw your car and I'm like, eh, he's 10 minutes in. It's not about here. And no, I, no. I started the at, at the end of the beach. Well, I know. We parked in two. Oh, jeez. Well, the important thing is you made it. You got exactly. out of bed. These are hey, friends. guys. Mike and Tina. Mike yep. And Tina Hi, Rob. How are, how are you doing? You, good, good. All right. Um, one turtle crawl up there. Trust Already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can see her trailers, none none so. down there yet. But right at the, well, right at the boardwalk. I want to find some shark's teeth this morning. Oh, we have never, I've never, I found one one time. I put it in my pocket and I got home and it wasn't in there. Oh, <laughs> Where yeah, it went. Yeah. That's what yeah. I tell my wife. Yeah, I bought this gun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God>. Exactly. <laughs> no, so, you know what a shark's tooth looks like? Like a little black triangle? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're... Yeah, been around here a long time. Yeah, sometimes yeah. They're, they're really tiny here, but every once in a while, they'll find some nice big ones. So, I think we're just going to yeah, walk north and... Keep, we'll keep yeah. strolling. Yeah. yeah. And see what we can find. And, I mean, they're going to be... Good drop off here. Yep. They're either, they're, they're either going to be out in the water here... Right, right where you are, or right in this ridge here. I wish it, it's kind of cloudy here this morning. It's usually, it's usually clear down here. But there's, you'll see as we get further north, there's lots of little black stones in the water, and they and they look like shark's teeth. They look like little hearts in the water. Oh, a ton of little fish on shore. Oh, yeah. see a dolphin come up. Well, that was a beautiful sky, wasn't it, this morning? Did you see that light up? That was, yeah. Roy is probably going to tell us how glorious the sunrise was this morning. Well, it you're was. You're in for a real treat meeting Roy, Mike. Oh, good, good. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. 93, almost 94. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Good. Good. Well, shall we start walking? And the water's a little cloudy. It is this morning. I don't know if it gets clearer up. up was, it cl was it clear up there or no? Cloudy. Huh. I don't know what's causing that. It's tough to walk here with these ridges. <laughs> don't worry, I'll throw the camera up on the beach. Yep. Anything that looks cool. Yeah. yeah. That looks good. Yep. That was kind of dumb question. Yeah. <laughs> A little further up the beach, the shells kind of spread out all over the place, so okay. it'd be nice having a lot of people. But this is where you gotta, this is where you'll find, sometimes you'll find some shark's right teeth, and, and they're so hard to spot, because you see you got all these little black things down here. And some of them are like the size of your pinky nail. They're really small. The shells or the, uh, the shark's teeth? The shark's teeth. Yeah. Telling him my barber collects shark's teeth. Oh, really? He, he, he does it somewhere up north. I love it. Love it. Venice Beach is loaded with them. Maybe Venice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they have, they have a, a famous restaurant there. Yep, yep. Yeah. Maybe we'll see the shark that the teeth fell out of. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's times. Nope. Little piece of shell. Darn it. These little broken shells throw you off when you're looking for shark's teeth. Have you ever got, have you ever bought one? Just one. But I have friends of mine find them all the time. Huh. We have one one friend, he found one, oh, it's probably 10 inches. It was from an, a oh, megalodon wow. shark. It was prehistoric. They had it, they took, the state took it and they carbon dated it and it was like, I don't know, 500,000 years old or something. It was huge. 10 inches, man. Yeah, that, that, I would display that somewhere. Well, they wanted it. They wanted it really bad. They didn't want to give me any money for it, but they wanted, they wanted it. it. Yeah. Uh, show me the money. Ranger Deb. Ranger Deb making her rounds. See another one of our sea turtle nests. Can you, can you see the pink ribbon up there? Well, oh, come on, folks. We got to find some shark's teeth. We got five sets of eyes out here this morning. The pelican just flew by us. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some dolphins this morning. That would be fun. Why don't you come on down and join us out here? Pretty calm compared to yesterday. I'm glad you weren't you're not wearing your other shirt, Scott. <laughs> Thanks. <You're> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I bought it in the store. It's perfectly. Right, legal. you bought it in the store. Little right. kids could read it. What'd you find? Operculum. I think that's what that Yep, that's the trap door. The operculum. That's actually like on a a well. This is what 
covers the, the snail, the animal, when it goes inside the shell. They call that a trap door and a perculum. Kind of interesting. Very cool. A lot of people don't know what those are. They just think it's a worn out shell. This actually, when the snail goes inside the shell, this closes on top of it and protects it. It's like a little piece of armor. Very cool. No, that's de that's definitely a, a rock. <laughs> yeah, definitely a rock. There's lots of these. Yeah. There's some really cool fossils out here too, Mike. I mean, really cool fossils. I mean, you'll find some like really old shells in the rocks and like, old fish skeletons in them. You want that? <laughs> no, I just want to know what I'm looking for. It looks, it, it's like a little black triangle. All it right. looks like a black triangle. Sometimes it's dark brown. We're gonna find one, we have to, we have to. Too many people looking this morning. I got your operculum, Scott, don't worry. Oh no, I, I got plenty. Oh, do you? <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need one. That, uh, that just pumping out the wrong direction. Yeah, what's that about? They're gonna get it stuck. <laughs> That's weird. The old barge up there pumping the sand again this morning from Wiggins Pass. Really increasing the size of the sandbar up in Area 4 Beach up by Roy. The sandbar is getting huge. I'll be so glad when that equipment's gone and the water settles down. I have a feeling that dredging operation got set back by the storm, by that tropical depression, Alberto, which by the way destroyed our beach. You know that by now if you're a regular follower. Thing down here. Nope. You're just joining us. We've got, I've been joined by Scott and Linda up here and two of their friends, and we're trying to comb the beach looking for shark's teeth this morning. Of course, none of us are any good at it, apparently. <laughs> I haven't found any yet, and they are out here. I want to give you a look at the beach here. The sky, beautiful Saturday morning. Again, we're looking at a high of 90 degrees today. A mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. That's looking to the south. Lots of great places to sit here and enjoy the sunsets, just soak up in the sights and soak up the sights and sounds. See all these benches right here? All these benches were placed in memory of someone, just like Roy had the bench placed for his wife, Audrey. You'll see these scattered throughout the park. You're starting to see more and more of them. It's a great idea. Give people a place to sit down and memorialize your loved one in such a beautiful setting. There we go, get that beautiful sky in there. This time of the morning, the camera wants to either adjust for the sky or when I tilt down, let's see how it gets brighter. We're up in area two right now. We started all the way at the end of the park this morning, all the way down the end. Those guys are getting ahead of me. How can they be looking closely for shark's teeth? Moving at that pace. Oh, 
Well, Scott and Linda said they saw a, a set of turtle tracks here. I haven't seen them yet. Oh, there he is. I think he's up by him. Let's see, it looks like the turtle. Oh, hopefully she didn't dig her nest here. It's out in the middle of the beach. That's not a good spot. get to see a turtle crawl anyway. Here's where one of our females came ashore right here. Very cool. Huh. This one Yeah, this might have been a successful crawl here. We'll see our ranger's gonna be up here pretty soon. Doesn't look like a very big one. These are the tracks, but you definitely see that little squiggly line there in between the tracks. Very small turtle, not very deep tracks. See that squiggly line? That's one indicator that she might have laid eggs. But darn it, she didn't come up very far on the beach. That's not good, but that thing is really was hanging down. It's what makes that track, for lack of a better term, it's the female turtle's vagina after she lays the eggs. It's kind of like sticking out. It drags along the ground. Sorry, ladies. I know you guys bear all the brunt of childbirth there but that's what happens and that thing drags along and makes that little trail in between our tracks so this would be where the nest is the rangers will dig in there and try to verify they will verify they'll dig around probe around they don't even necessarily uncover the eggs if they just feel one of them and there's our ranger there's Ranger Deb. New rules. We have two. You got two this morning? No, it's the first one. This might be a good one. Definitely got that little squiggly line and I know. Big time. She was dragging. <laughs> I know. It's a great track. Yeah. Small she one though. Around. She's a small one. You're not really good. <laughs> Walmart. Yeah, but I mean, you, look at that. <laughs> Very cool. But those are the tracks, folks. The loggerhead sea turtle. So the rangers are going to come out and check that out. That might. That's going to be a tough dig. Lots of shells here. That's tough on the hands when they dig in there. You can see where she came out of the water. Right there. Crawled up here. Almost went back in the same spot. Here's the potential nest right there. She went back down to the water there. What's new with you? Anything? No, no. No. Sorry about that mistake there. That's pretty tough. Well, That's all right. That was, um, wow. did you get that video? Did huh? you see the video? Yeah. That was awesome, that wasn't was, it? Yeah, I wish I was here. Wow, I'm so jealous. That's getting really a, unusual for a turtle. Oh, in the daytime like that? Daytime like that. And get, I mean, he was. She must have had to lay those eggs. It must have been like. Must be having yeah. Cramps. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's a pretty good size. She wasn't a, you know, a youngin. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to tell, but she did a good job. Everybody's got. I still have that pinned to the top of my page for everybody to see that 
turtle come and crawl them back to the water after she laid her eggs. These are great tracks. Look at her tail. I know. That's like... So defined. There's her... Is that her... What the ass mark? That's her tail, isn't it? I don't know if it's her tail or her thing. Oh, it might be her face. Her thing. A <laughs> dragon after she laid her eggs. So here's, her, here's her fins right here. Yeah. Legs right here. Because usually... Well, that's what um, Rosa told me. If you see that little squiggly line, a lot of times, that means they laid, you know, that's where the eggs came out. And oh, it's just kind of hanging down. Hanging down, ready to yeah. drop. <laughs> we'll see. Is Mark coming out? Yeah, he's coming out. He's good at finding those eggs. I've never, I've never done this part of it. Oh, you ne never? I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it's like, it doesn't look like a lot of sand got disturbed here. A lot of times you see a big pile. So, it'll be interesting to see what he says. He usually has like a, a hunch, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's done plenty of these in his lifetime, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. He's, he's found them in just minutes, too, and then he spent, you know, a half hour other times digging around. Yeah. Right here. That looks like her... She came up. This is where she came up here. You can see how the see how the sands push back. Uh, yeah. See how the sands push back by her flippers. This oh, is she where she came up here, and that's the return to the water. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that would make sense. Yeah. Just got done laying the eggs. Yep. She's a lot lighter going downhill. Yeah, <laughs> she's a lot lighter. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that one that we got they got on Mark got on video she got to the water pretty fast yeah, they do. I mean I thought it took I thought they'd take a couple steps and wait that thing just hauled butt down to the water that was cool yeah well, they're probably a lot lighter <laughs> going downhill uh, somebody said they were talking to you out here one day about the turtle nest <laughs> one of our friends watching here of course you were talking to Deb. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of great rangers out here, everybody. Got great rangers, great volunteers. They're always looking for help out here. If you want to volunteer, come out here and help pick up the trash that these slobs leave on the beach. Ugh. The 4th of July is just around the corner. Ugh. That's going to be a mess here at the beach. People are so disrespectful. Out those pitching, you know. Uh huh. But I'm so afraid that sometimes those papers get just tossed. Oh, sure. Her, you know, I hear Mark coming now on his new ride right in the middle. and his new wheels. We call it precious. Precious? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's a nice ride. He calls that the orange pig, but we the call orange it the orange pig. We call it the orange crush. Orange crush. That's nicer. Gosh darn it. We we're out here looking for shark's teeth. I had a bunch of friends come out with me this morning and Did you find any? not yet. They're up. They got up ahead of me. Darn, I wanted to see if there were any eggs in there. I love letting people get a look at the eggs when they find them. They look like little ping pong balls. What's that? What is the purpose of that? Just look around and start. Oh, it's start sad. Looking. The trash that people leave around here. Look there's at this. Stuff paper bags. Yeah, this stuff is dangerous. I wish. Why can't we go back to paper bags? I don't know. Plastic. I saw like a dozen water bottles up in the sea oats the other day in one uh, spot. One spot. Yeah, I saw. Hide them. I said, don't hide them. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> if you're going to leave trash, leave it out. I made you famous, Mark. That video got a lot of views. That was incredible. It was. Yeah, I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I know. That was like. You know, I, this is new to me. Okay. Yeah. 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 Tracks are pretty obvious. Yeah. So yeah, she struggled to get up, and then easy to go down. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a mess. 
because you can see where her, see like the ridge around here. Uh-huh. Just try to protect it. Oh, okay. And we got a mom that that put on right there. So she came up this way. She might be able to pull it a little bit and mm -hmm. and cover it. So, so the next is probably the chain, egg chain is probably going to be about that. Look at that. That's where right, like right the they think the, the eggs are. No, no, you're going to have to dig down. Okay. So dig down and then... So a lot of people would think they're over here. Like dig down on them. But see where that mound is, is, is where she covered them up. You haven't even seen it. No. So, so dig, dig down like this, and when the sand starts to get really, really soft, you feel like a boy digging up this, so you feel like a boy right here. It's just, just dig. Because it's going to be down for you. Is it soft? Yeah. So, what you could do, and see what I what I would do, is I'm, yeah, it's, it's, so I'd go around like this, mm -hmm. and keep going around, okay. like that, until you kind of find maybe a soft spot. Yeah, it's so cool. Can we'll you be back here, or can you go back there? You can, but it's probably yeah. up this way. Because your head's way up here. Here's the crawl tracks over here again, folks. They're just trying to verify whether or not that was a successful crawl. These are the loggerhead sea turtle tracks. These are the tracks coming out of the water. Kind of hard to see. People, There's a good look at the tracks right there. They're doing a little excavating, just going to verify if there's eggs in there. There's the return tracks over there where she went back to the water. If you want a good look at what one of these loggerhead sea turtles look at look like, check out the video that I have pinned to the top of my page. Ranger Mark got an awesome video of one of these females on shore in the early morning light. You see, this is, they don't do this on the county beaches. When I started our beach walk this morning, I was showing you the nest down on the county beach. They don't verify that there's eggs in there. You got them? Yep. Wow. Yep, right there. Very, very hard to see. Point, keep, point to way. it, Deb. There's one of the eggs. They're about the size of a ping pong ball. You want to come this way? Very soft and leathery. Mark, you are an expert. See that little white dot down there? There's one of the eggs. I'm going to take a quick photo before you bury it. You want to come from this angle? Too? Yeah. That is. Congratulations, Deb. Congratulations. I know that's got to be exciting. It is exciting. This is the best part of the job. There's the top of the egg down there. See that little white spot right in the center? I'm gonna take a photo, bear with me. Well, a successful crawl, awesome. So they call that a clutch. That group of eggs is called a clutch. Very cool. Thanks for letting me Tag along, Mark. Sure, that is always no exciting. Our, our followers love that. Yeah. They love it. Hey, what number is that? Do you know? 17. 17? Oh, okay. Awesome. Great job, Deb. See you later. Okay, well. All right. I got to catch up to my friends here, see if we found any shark's teeth. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? They've got a, a little bit of work to do up there. The rangers, what they're going to do now is they measure the distance of the crawl. Uh-oh, you got another one right here. <laughs> There's another crawl right here. Active night. An active night. Here's the return tracks. 
This one I don't know about. This doesn't have that obvious line like we saw. This could have been that same turtle. Sometimes it'll come up, look for a spot, get spooked off by a raccoon or something. But here's another set of crawl tracks right here. Here's her return tracks right here. Let me see. I don't know. I don't see that big squiggly line like we did in the other tracks. But here's, and there's not a big mound of sand over here. That's, wow, two crawls. Look at that. There's where the new nest is, confirmed. Here's another crawl right here. That is so cool. Busy night for those gals last night, huh? Busy, busy night. I'm gonna take a photo, bear with me. Well, maybe we'll have another nest. One successful crawl so far, that is so cool. And here's another one. That is really neat. So you can see the ranger, our park ranger, rangers, they're down there now. They measure the distance of the crawl, how far the nest is from the water. And then they have markers along the beach here and they measure the distance from the marker and they actually plot it on a map. They keep good records on these sea turtle crawls. You see them measuring there. This is her first confirmed find here, Ranger Deb. With the guidance of Mark, the assistant park manager. That was so cool. You got to see a sea turtle egg. There could be a hundred of those eggs in that nest. You see how they just gently uncover them. They don't do anything to really disturb them. They just want to verify that they're there. That was so cool. That's got to be exciting for Debbie. And there's one of the markers right there. You see where she came up to. Mark's over there plotting where it is. Very cool. Well, let's catch up to everybody. Using up a lot of batteries here. <laughs> but it was worth it. That was exciting this morning. That was the first nest that I got to witness the verification this season. There's our little, one of our little white ibises there. There's one of my friends, Chris, walking down the beach. It's gonna be a hot one today, Chris. Yes. 91. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was exciting. I'll share the picture of that sea turtle egg later. Kind of hard to see, but you'll see it. It should be clear in the photo I took. And I'll get a picture of that nest on the way back. They'll have it marked off. I catch up to our friends here, Linda and Scott and Mike and Tina. How was that? You guys, that was a great beach walk. Huh? It's been a great beach walk so far. We got to see a turtle egg. If you missed it, don't worry. You can always watch the replay of this video and I will repost it on YouTube in a little better quality.
It's amazing though how Mark knew just about where those eggs were. He was off by maybe six inches. Just incredible. And again, over here, nest 15 up here on the beach. I posted a picture of this earlier this morning, these two nests. The one on the right, nest number 15, this is the one where Mark actually witnessed the female up on the beach. He got some video of her, and I shared that. Be sure to check that video out. If you're wondering what these loggerhead sea turtles look like, it's right at the top of my news feed there on my page. I've got a pin to the top. Check out, you'll see her just finishing up, covering her eggs up, covering the nest up, and crawling back to the water. An amazing sight. Definitely gotta check that out. Wonder if these guys found any shells. I got so excited with that sea turtle nest and involved with them. So that'll be nest number 17. I thought we had 18 nests. Mark told me a couple days ago we had 18. Well, we'll see when I get back there. Check out the numbers. They should have it marked off by the time I get back down there. Not much in the way of shells down on this end of the beach. We were looking for shark's teeth. Looks like somebody left their beach noodle out here. How could you go home and forget that? That's crazy. Boy, lots of fish jumping out here. Got a lot of mullet, a little snook out here just offshore. Beautiful, look at this. Look at the beautiful colors there. Just getting the sand off my legs from when I was filming that sea turtle nest. Scott up here. Grab this noodle. Why would people leave us on the beach? Nothing? Nothing? I left you a truck down there too. You left me a toy truck? A Darn. It's amazing that the toys kids leave out here at the beach. Is there one in there? Yep. Awesome. Found a I'm gonna take give this to Roy. Yeah, no kidding. Let him. Always use extras. Hey, we got a fighting conch at home here. Finally, we got a live one. See him in there? The Florida fighting conch, that tube. That's one of his eyes on the end of that tube. He might come out and put up a fight here. Usually they come out and they try to poke you. This is a live, there he is. See him trying to get me there? See him thrashing around? That's why they call them fighting conchs. Look at that. Good look at him fighting. That's really sharp too, that little that little foot they call it. That's his mouth right there, up on the right. There's a good look at a Florida fighting conch. We'll put him back down in the, I'm gonna show you something here, how they flip themselves around. Watch this, we'll put him right down here in the sand. Watch how he turns himself over. He'll just flip himself right around. Here he goes. One more time. He knows I'm watching here. Here he goes. There, there he is. See how they just flip themselves right over? They'll crawl back into the water. See, there's his head. You can see his two eyes there. See his eyes on those antenna? Isn't that cool? 
I'll actually put him back in the water, save him the effort there. That is really, really cool. No, they actually bury themselves down in the in the sand, just offshore. The Florida fighting conch. There's his eyes over there. See him? Ouch! Put you out here in the water. Get you away from the waves. They'll be happy here. Very, very cool. Florida fighting conch. Take some time, check out my photos and videos. You'll find some great photos of the fighting conch. I mean, incredible photos. Got some nice up close photos of the fighting conch. Wow. They have really pushed that barge down the beach here. It's way down south now, way far away from Roy. It's actually pumping sand in the other direction. That's probably why the water's cloudy down here. It's starting to clear up as we get further north now. You can see the bottom there with the sunlight. All these shells down here. Never know what you're gonna find out here. Just a, a, oh look at I don't know if you can see the little fish, little black shadows, little tiny fish all around, little bait fish. Hundreds of them just ahead of me. I don't know if you can see them down there or not. They're staying just ahead of me. Well, we got to see some interesting things. We got to see a live Florida fighting conch so far this morning. We got to hang out with the rangers. So they checked out a sea turtle nest and confirmed that yes, it is an active sea turtle nest. It was a successful crawl. That was awesome. That will be nest number 17. Another set of sea turtle tracks just a little further north of it, too. Who knows? Maybe two nests on the beach. We still got a little ways to go. these little shells here they just it's really hard you never know what you're looking at down here all these little black specks we were hoping to find some shark's teeth this morning the water's getting nice and clear now up here got better odds a lot of times you just sift through. I had a friend, Sandy, she just sat here sifting through all this stuff and she found a bunch of little tiny shark's teeth going through it all. You just never know. The big ones are easy to spot, but the little tiny ones are really hard to find. Our friend Bill oh, from Canada, boy, he's got the knack for finding shark's teeth. He has definitely got a good eye. Catch up to our friends here. So you find things like this, these little triangular stones, they kind of look like shark's teeth when you see them in the water, but they're not.
Boy, the water's clearing up up here. It's definitely, yep, absolutely. What a difference. There's a fresh sandbar right out there. Yeah. Ooh, those waves are breaking way off. Nice and clear, the water now. You guys, what'd you find, a crown? Yeah, old, old crown. Old, old crown. Part of an old crown. I found part of an old uh, tulip sitting down there. Wow. Old guys, though. I think this dredge must be able yeah, to do with Yeah, these it. are coming up from the dredging, absolutely. That's old. Oh, yeah. yeah, these have been probably yeah, buried for a long old. time. Yeah, Left long. is a crown conch, right is a tulip. Here's a really old little baby uh, horse conch. Look at that. Very cool. Those old ones here, are cool. They're, I like the they could be stuff. prehistoric. <laughs> you never know how long they were buried. You never know. Hey, there was eggs in that nest for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The first one, anyway. I don't know about the... The second one didn't look pot that good to me, but we'll oh, find out. Oh, was there another out. nest? Was it farther this way? Yeah, the there was one just, just past it. Oh, I didn't right. see that one. Right there. <laughs> 25 yards, 30 <laughs> yards away. I saw the good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Got to see the eggs. That's awesome. Another one of our friends, Kelly, out here. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Have you have you been to the other end? Yeah, I was just down with Todd Roy for a while this morning. Hugging. I got my There you go. <laughs> well, there's more and more shells as we get further north here on the beach. What's down here? Do I see something buried? Nope. There's a... Ah! Daggone it. There's a gorgeous... Look at this. That is a beautiful kitten's paw. Look at that. That is an incredible kitten paw shell right there. Incredible. Look at the color, look at the pattern on that kitten's paw. Wow, that's that pretty. Is, I've never seen one like that before. Yeah. Beautiful. See how it looks like a little cat's paw? Yeah, oh no, I love those. I've been finding them all Yeah, are you a cat lover? Yes, I yeah. am. Cat lovers love these shells. Yeah. The yeah. little kitten's paw. Look at the color on this one, Linda. Let's see. Oh, wow. That stripe across yeah, the top, yeah. isn't that neat? I've never seen one like that. There's a ton of stuff out here. Yep. I mean, you can walk by it 20 times yep. and not see that shell and pfft. I see Roy up the beach there. Oh yeah. Quite a few shells. Quite a few shells here. Got her all. <laughs> There's a worm tip. When Kelly said there's a lot of shells up there, you saw how fast he started. <laughs> God, look at all these worm tips. Again, everywhere. the worm shells are everywhere, all over. Look at this old whelp. Here, this will go with your collection of old shells. Oh, yeah, he's right up my alley. Hey, man. Save all the old whelps. There you whelps. go. There's no sense making them suffer any longer. <laughs> I, save, I save them all. I'll retire them. I retire. retire them with pride. That's right. Ooh, looky there. Oh, I thought that was, it looked like a piece of a tulip from back there. Oh, it's just the uh, whelk, big piece of a whelk. Oh, you're passing up some good stuff. I'm telling you, you gotta slow down. <laughs> just incredible the things you find when you slow down. Look how beautiful it is out here this morning. Look at that sky. Well, Kelly's way out in the water there. See her out there? Just incredibly gorgeous out here. Oh, beautiful shells here in the water. 
this is the place to be looking. Just brought some extra eyes with me this morning. Hopefully we won't miss anything. We was really hoping to spot some shark's teeth. I guess none of us have the eye for that because they are definitely out here. Look at this, this is a piece of a, a pen shell here. Look at the iridescent colors on that. Just a little sliver of a pen shell, but look at the colors. Isn't that not beautiful? We cut those and make some nice little earrings. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that iridescent. It's like a rainbow. That's just a little sliver of a pen shell. He can wear it as a crown. Oh, that's his new hat. <laughs> we got him a new noodle. Now we got him a little floaty. Fun. I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. You can come out here and furnish your kids with tons of toys. Not good. This you don't want to find out there. Maybe piece of a broken bottle what'd you find a scallop yeah. nice scallop shell yeah nice big oh, scallop. scallop nice Linda where's all the shark's teeth no. whose pocket no. ah, <laughs> yep shark tooth bill he took them all home to Canada I swear he walks around with a pocket full of shark's teeth Gosh, lots of broken whelks. We're going to find something good out there on Pelican Island. I'm going to get ahead of them and go up on the island. Boy, lots of shells out here this morning. I'll let them do the shelling. Little piece of a, looks like a little piece of a murex. Piece of a little apple murex shell there. Maybe we'll find an apple murex today. That's just a little sliver of one. I want to take a little walk out on that new little spit out there where the birds are. It's all new from the dredging, all new sand out there. Oh yeah, there's some good shelling out here this morning, no doubt about it. They're gonna find some little jewels. Look at this, look at this. Here's a cockle shell filled with shells. Cockle filled with shells. Isn't that cool? <laughs> cockle shell filled with little seashells. I know we got some newcomers here, first timers. Be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. That's what this is all about, getting some little conversations going there in the comment section. I just provide a little platform for everybody to get together here. Got people watching from all around the world. It's so cool. Ooh, look at all the seagulls just took off. Wonder if they'll come back. Let's see if they come back to the Yep, there they come. Somebody's asking why we don't say, see any, they don't see seagulls here. Well, look, there's a bunch of seagulls. We'll get up there a little closer to them. Just checking out all the little gems down here. Man, great morning for shelling. Come on down to the beach. Still got plenty of time before the tide comes up. 
Look, it's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous little scallop shell. That is so cool. Beautiful colors. Some of these shells are just amazing. What's incredible is to think that at one point all of these shells were alive. There was some a living animal inside of them. I don't want to hang on. I did not want to scare those birds. They were I didn't get very close. They were pretty skittish. You want to stay away from the birds here, give them their space. I was just hoping to get a picture of them all out here on the little island, but it didn't happen. They all took off. Darn it. My bad. We are going to start finding some really nice shells out here. This is all new sand out here. Really looking forward to that. Ooh, big fish just took off here. See this? Might have been a flounder buried in the sand. Just shot off as I walked out here. Might have even been a stingray. You never know. Nice little cockle down here in the water. Oh, clamshell. Sorry, the clamshell. Look at the water. Isn't that beautiful, the reflections? What a picture, huh? That is gorgeous. What a beautiful Saturday morning in North Naples, Florida. When you're shelling, don't be afraid to walk out into the water, especially at low tide. Less traffic out here. Although whatever you find out here is probably gonna be alive. You can't take it home. It sure is beautiful. We have a, had a great, great beach walk so far this morning. Got to see a turtle egg. That was cool. It's like glass right down there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful. Got to take a picture. There goes our park ranger up there on his little orange buggy. Really shallow right here. No water, just not even an inch of water here under my feet. Some really old shells that got dredged up out of Wiggins Pass along here. Wow. What the heck is this stuff? What is that? These are coquinas. Coquinas by the millions. Millions and millions and millions of coquina shells. Look at that. Just millions of them. Look at that. Anybody looking for coquinas for uh, their hobby? There's buckets of them here. Wow, I've never seen so many in one spot. All oh, coquinas. Look at them all down here. That is amazing. All oh, over. Look at them all here. Wow. Did you find a sand dollar, Mike? Yeah. 
Oh, they're really on it. That is an awesome find. That is a beauty. Great find, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> right in front of me. Nice. You just lost your shell virginity. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a nice one? Yeah, yeah that'll break. You got to be yeah, really careful with those sand dollars. Did you see these awesome, colorful little coquinas? Those Nina? are just incredible. Yeah, just so cool. What a nice sand dollar. Very nice finds. See, you just never know what you're gonna find out here. Look at all these coquinas. My gosh, piles and piles. Here's a little auger shell down here. Nice little auger. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Little auger, see it with its stripes? Really neat shells. And get some light on it. The auger shell. Wow, that was a nice sand dollar. Well, so far, the highlight of our beach walk has been hanging out with the rangers while they checked on that sea turtle nest and discovered another successful crawl on our beach here at Del Norte Wiggins. You're going to want to check that out. You'll get to see the one of the eggs in the nest, just a piece of it. They don't do much to uncover the eggs. They just want to verify. Sometimes they, they just feel them. You don't even see them. But they verify that there is an egg in those nests. There are eggs. There could be 80 to 100 eggs in that nest. Amazing. Oh, Scott's up there giving Roy his new beach toys. We found a little floaty and a noodle <laughs> laying on the beach, among other things, big toy truck. Bring your kids out to the beach early in the morning. You don't have to bring any toys. Just walk the beach and you'll find plenty of them out here. People are so callous leaving their things on the beach. Friend Roy. Yeah. Another layer. Hi, Rob. How are you yeah, doing, man? Got you a new noodle there, new green noodle. Yeah. Now you got two of them. On the beach. Yeah. Got so keep them afloat better. We got something else for you too. Where'd no it go? Kidding. Oh, Linda has it. Yeah. Wow. Linda has a nice life ring for you. No kidding. Yeah. Boy, lots of things to keep me floating, huh? Yep. We don't want you drowning on us. Hey, can't beat that. But then again, we don't want you floating away either. <laughs> well, if yep. I'm getting a run out, I suppose I'd yeah. run out to Mexico. <laughs> oh, Lordy. How's everything going, Good, Rob? good. Got to, got to hang out with Mark and Deb down there while we dug up a sea turtle nest to check for eggs this morning. Oh, were there eggs Oh, there? yeah. Yep, oh, found good. another one. There was another crawl just up the beach from it, too. I don't think that was a good one, though. Was a ranger, ranger digging it up, you say? Yep. yep. Oh, good. It was actually, Ranger Deb, Debbie, she it was her first time doing it. Oh, so really? she was excited. I'll bet. Her first time she ever dug into a nest, and it was a successful one. So she was I'll happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yep. I'll be back in a little bit. You okay. going to hang tight? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Uh, pretty much hang around all day. All I've right. Got I got my book as she's typing up. I got to see her Monday, so nothing much I can do on that. And uh, yep. coming down the stretch on that pretty much. And Today's the big horse race. Yeah, yeah, 6 o'clock, I yep. guess, 6.30 or something. It's going to be something else. Yeah, I'm looking It'll forward to it. be fun to, to have a triple that. crown. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for the owner and the jockey. They'd yeah, love that. <laughs> watch that. I suppose there'll be preliminaries ahead of oh, time. Oh, yeah, that starts way ahead of time. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be exciting. I enjoyed watching the horses run. It's a beautiful thing. They're beautiful animals, aren't they? Yeah. Very All right, they those animal those horses live way better than you and I live. <laughs> Believe well, me. We're living pretty darn good. We live well, but those horses get treated like gods. I wonder if they eat salad with blue cheese. I don't think so. That's what I have. A salad, yeah. They might have a salad with blue cheese. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat that. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Good I don't day. want Scott getting all the good shells in front of me. Good show, Rob. <laughs> have a good day. Good morning. Good morning. That's Scott's neighbor, Mike. Roy. 
Yeah. That is Roy, the infamous. I've seen you online a lot. How are you? He's famous. All right, Scott, where's all the good shells? I'll let you know as soon as I find them. Oh, come on. I got two babies. There's a crab claw. Yeah. Oh, nice. A little, a little baby whelp and a little baby mossy arc. Now, see, folks, that's what you got to keep your eyes open for. See how little those shells are? Little tiny whelk shell and a little mossy arc. Isn't that cool? Little babies. And people just walk right by them. I walk by them all the time. I mean, it's just <laughs> it's luck when you, when you find those. Keep walking by them. Yep. It's all about the angle of that sun. No, you can't see without it. Right. See, right now, these are kind of in the shade. And when that sun comes out, it's amazing it. how they pop out when you get some definition, some shadows. There's got to be some stuff out in this water. Now that that barge has moved on, this guy's a little close to shore here. What's he doing? He's setting an anchor. He's a little too far in. He's on the wrong side of the buoys out there. This is all new sand out here that I'm walking on. Really shallow right here. Tons of little tiny bait fish swimming around in front of me. Tons of them. Seeing those all morning. Not a lot of sea life on these new sandbars yet. It'll take a little while for the critters to crawl up here. Hopefully we'll start seeing some nice sand dollars. Sea stars, got a lot of sea stars out here. Nine arm sea stars, five arm sea stars, brittle stars. Certain times of the year, we just, you see hundreds of the sea stars, hundreds and hundreds. Here's a conch shell. Wonder if anybody's home, looks like an old one. That's an old, look at that. Boy, that shell, that conch's got barnacles on it. It's so old. <laughs> that is an old one. Pretty cool, though. What the heck is that? An old sand flea floating in the water. <laughs> Surprised the fish didn't eat it. Nice clear water. Beautiful out here. Soaking in the serotonin. Beautiful look up the beach. What's left of Area 5 Beach. Not much left there, unfortunately. I think I'll probably snap a quick photo of that off. Bear with me for a minute. Don't go anywhere lose the connection here as I take a picture but I'll be right back okay I'm back as promised take a look back down the beach down towards Roy beautiful absolutely gorgeous as we look south Sorry, I apologize. I can't resist stopping and taking pictures. It's paradise out here. Look at the reflections. Isn't that beautiful?
bit of a drop off right here. Looks like our little friend, the little snowy egret over here again this morning up on the beach. Him or her, I don't know who or what it is. See the little snowy egret there? We've seen it in the same place, pretty close to the same spot every morning, the past couple mornings. Fluffing up there for the camera. Beautiful, beautiful little birds. That's the same one that I posted the picture of yesterday. It's our buddy Roy and Linda chit-chatting. What a beautiful picture. I just can't resist. I'm sorry. Gorgeous morning. That water is absolutely beautiful out here this morning. Now that barge has moved on further down the beach. Look at that water. It's the north end of Area 4. Look at the color. That's me, everybody. Gorgeous, nice and clear. Tide's on its way in. Little, little piece of a worm shell. Oh, wow. Look at that, a little baby crown conch. Look at that, a little teeny tiny baby. Missing a little piece of it. That's a little baby crown conch. How cool is that? I was going to pick up this piece of worm shell when I saw that. There's a little tiny baby cockle shell. It's a little baby cockle there, a little baby crown conch and a little cockle shell. See how small they are? There are so many shells buried there. I mean, you could spend hours right there. Piece of a little murex, piece of a little apple murex shell right there. Just a little sliver of an apple murex. This is where our beach starts to fade away here. It's all got washed out by a tropical depression. Alberto, not too long ago, son of a gun, destroyed the north end of our beach. Hopefully it'll come back. This beach comes and goes. Mother Nature does her thing. Any more treasures, Scott? Only a few. Oh, some more little, oh, nice two little baby moons. A nautica and a moon shell, wow. Awesome. That is so cool. It's baby day. Baby, it is baby day. That is so cool. So many of the little babies. Yeah, that is so cool. Nice, another little wealth. Yep. Nice. 
Mike has been crushing it today. This That's, was his new little thing. Oh, nice. Now. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. He's found a couple of these, so. He's got a good eye this morning. He does. Beginner's Look luck. Look at the size of the slipper. Oh. oh, that's a nice one. Look nice big slipper that shell. Yeah, is. that's a nice one. A slipper shell. See how it looks like a little slipper when you turn it over? And a little, um, oh, a little cone, cone shell. Nice. Yeah, it faded out. A little alphabet cone. Yeah. That's cool. Look at you collecting all the goodies. Yeah, turkey. Look at that. Little, little, oh, wow. little baby crown. Little baby crown conk. Lots of little baby shells out here this morning. It's baby day. That is cool. Ooh, a nice oyster. I have been collecting those all morning. Neat. I'm in love with them. Well, there is a lot of shells on the beach this morning. Believe me, we haven't got them all. We saved some for you if you want to come out. There's still a lot of shells out here in the water too. is where we lost our beach. It's kind of low tide right now, so you can get through here. High tide, you can't walk through here. You gotta take the trail. Look at all the beach we lost. Sad, sad, sad. It's probably five feet right there, at least. Gorgeous morning though. Had a great beach walk. We saw some really interesting things this morning. Haven't seen any dolphins. That would be the icing on the cake. We saw some dolphins swim by. Sometimes they come right up to the shore here. Absolutely amazing. I gotta get moving here. We started all the way down in area one this morning at the very southern end of the beach this morning. Now we're up in area five, the north end. It's been a great walk. Saw a couple interesting things. Look at all these shells. Look at them all. There's a carpet. The beach is just carpeted with shells up here. Wow. Incredible. Just gonna come up to the end here and give you a look at the north end of the park up by Wiggins Pass. Part of the namesake of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. A beautiful Florida State Park. We got lots of beautiful parks in Florida. All different types of ecosystems. We have them on the east coast, the west coast, the center of the state. From beaches to natural springs to forests, there's parks everywhere in the state of Florida. You need to take advantage of them when you're down here. And all of our Florida state parks are always looking for volunteers. So if you enjoy the outdoors, and you're retired and you have some extra time on your hands, you should consider volunteering at a state park. I'm sure it's got some nice little perks besides being able to enjoy the outdoors. There's all seashells along the shoreline here. My friends Scott and Linda Mike and Tina, they'll be coming up here and scavenging through all of these. You can see how our beach is kind of washed away up here, even up here at the end. This is area five. This is where you want to come. If you want to come to the park and go fishing, come up to the north end. It's the only place you're allowed to fish. No swimming up here because of the currents. Beautiful colors, the blues, the greens. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning.
Here's a cool little piece of worm rock. Just a little piece. See all the little worm tubes in it, the worm rock. It's kind of neat stuff. I always like picking that up and showing it to people. Worm rock. Boy, look at that scallop. Beautiful, beautiful colors they are on that scallop shell. I'll rinse that one off and stick it in my pocket. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television if you like what you're seeing. If you enjoy these beach walks. If you're new, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the little group here. We're kind of like a little family. A little beach family. Here we are at Wiggins Pass, Saturday morning in North Naples, Florida. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful green, and blue, gorgeous colors. I do want to head back and say hi to Roy real quick. I am by. He's had some time. Maybe he's got a thought for the day for us. Maybe a word or statement for the day. We'll see. Take a quick picture of the pass here. Bear with me. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back. Well, let's head back down the beach. I kind of scurried up here. Maybe we'll find something as we walk back. Both of the barges, the dredging barges, are out there. See them just offshore over there. Love this place. It's like heaven on earth right here, folks. Get out in the water, give you a little better look back at the beach. Right here, the water's about knee deep. Hang on while I take a quick photo. Alright, I'm back. Remember, I'll post, there will be a, a post of this video. It gets saved on Facebook. And then I also post it on YouTube. I post a little higher quality version of this video on YouTube and share the links on Facebook. So you probably want to watch the one on YouTube if you missed anything. Got to see a little sea turtle egg this morning when they, the rangers... We're confirming whether or not the crawl was a success or not this morning, the loggerhead sea turtle. So we have a new nest on the beach, number 17. Look at that water. Loving it. We didn't find any shark's teeth this morning, it! That was part of our mission, combing the whole beach. We were hoping to find some shark's teeth, but we did not find any.
they're out there they're here some people just have better eyesight <laughs> and they find all those sharks to eat look at that water no signs of any of the effects of that lake o release down here that's further north the water's nice and clear here here comes our shelling friends again scott and linda mike and tina I totally lost track of time. Holy Toledo, it's already 8.30. 8.30 already? Yeah, you wow. gotta be out by nine, right? Yep. Yeah, I know, I just saw that little baby too as you're sitting there pointing out. I got little. Another, I got another baby well. Little baby conch shell. Another, you found another well? Yeah, There's a little even smaller baby well, fighting yeah. conch. Very cool. Yeah, that's so little fun. I found this oldie underneath the tree. An oldie. Super old. An old cockle. Nice. Yeah. You need coral? to. You, they need to hang some shells on the tree ah. while they're here. That's true. Yep. Yeah. Add good a couple point. shells to the yeah. tree. Hey, Mike, it's good meeting you. All right. Well, good luck. Nice yep. Too. Maybe I'll see you again. I'll yep. see you a little bit later. Oh, yeah. All right. See you all right. I'll be working all weekend. <laughs> we'll see. Shout if you're coming out. Okay. We'll do. All right. Nice good meeting later. you guys. Nice Bye. meeting you, Tina. Nice to meet you. Good luck there. I guess nobody found a shark's tooth, huh? No. <laughs> that stinks. <laughs> what a bummer. That was fun having an extra set of eyes though while we were walking the beach this morning. Well, I gotta get boogieing. Stop and chat with Roy for a minute, but I got a long walk ahead of me. I gotta get all the way back down to the south end of the beach. I'm gonna stop and say hi to Roy before signing off. Just spend a couple minutes with them. Okay, if you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to tell your friends. Nobody pays me to come out here and do this. I do invest a lot of time in doing this and taking photos and whatnot. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Not necessary, not expected, but it's always a nice surprise when somebody makes a little contribution. It definitely helps pay the phone bill. That's important. I'm not a rich guy like a lot of people here in Naples. <laughs> Just kind of living day to day. I enjoy sharing this beauty with you. So if you do want to make a little contribution, you can find the, my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. To those of you that haven't donated a little something, thank you so much. Carolyn Beach, if you're watching, thank you. She just sent a little something yesterday. That was so nice of you, Carolyn. I appreciate that. Like I said, every little bit helps. Look at all the... Look at all these shells. Lots of baby shells this morning. Finding lots and lots of baby shells. Where is Roy? He's not in his chair. Daggone it, where did he go? He might be up getting his bug spray. <laughs> I'm gonna snap a photo off of this beach, Area 4 beach. We're looking south from Area 4 Beach. Bear with me. I have got to check a text message here, folks. It's going to take me a minute. Hopefully the live feed won't drop out. Looks like somebody's going to have a party here or something. I see something shiny over here, like Mylar balloons. Something. Maybe it's a big float. But I have to check my messages real quick here. It's work related, so bear with me here. While I do that, I will be right back. 
Just want to get in the shade here. Okay, hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, that was just somebody needing a ride to work this morning. So I'll be picking her up a little later. We got a little more time. She's running late this morning. Oh, here's a nice worm shell. If you were watching yesterday, we found a lot of worm shells. There's a nice little worm shell right here. Rinse it off. Nice little wormy. That's a great little worm shell. I have lost Roy. He's not here in his chair. And I wanted to go say good morning to him. We did see him. We did say good morning. But I was hoping to see him again. This is all new beach out here in front of me. See this spit here? All new beach. Very cool. Roy, 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 where are you? Look how beautiful this water is. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors. The reflections, isn't that beautiful? See Roy down there? Is Roy down there? Huh. I don't know where he went. Roy is missing. Buddy. Yeah, he's got his beach gear here, but where is Roy? Wonder if he had to run home. <laughs> Maybe nature called. <laughs> I don't know where he is. He was out here. See if his car is still out in the parking lot. He might have had to run home for something. Huh, no, his car's here. Well, I don't know where he is. Darn it. Wanted to chat with him. Wanted to have a little chat with Roy. Well, that stinks. Good old Roy, 93 years old, our friend Roy. And this is our new friend right here, this little snowy egret. Hangs out right in this same spot here. Beautiful little birds. Got a great picture of it. A few posts down from this, you'll see it. Great beach walk this morning. We pretty much almost walked the entire length of the beach, the entire mile of beach here. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, heck, Roy is out in the water with Kelly. Ha, huh, that's funny. I just spotted two little heads out there in the water. See the boat? And there's Roy. Go figure, Roy with the pretty girl out in the water. See him out there? That's Roy with the hat on. Roy and our friend Kelly. <laughs> oh well he's taking his plunge as promised well at least we know he's okay god bless him <laughs> Roy and Kelly
He's out there swimming. <laughs> He's got to go way out. There's that new sandbar there. He's got to go way out there. I'm going to sign off here. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. Some great stuff. When you find something you like, hit the like button, hit the share button. Today we got to see a successful sea turtle crawl. We were with the rangers when they uncovered the egg chamber. That was fun. You'll definitely want to watch that. Found a live fighting conch, finally. Got to show you, got a good look at a live Florida fighting conch thrashing around. You can see why they call them fighting conchs. And earlier this morning, right where I'm standing, well, here they are. We just came across I swear, there's millions, millions, millions and millions of coquinas, live coquinas here. Millions of them down here, just a huge pocket of them, right almost in the middle of Area 4 Beach. Just incredible. All that, these are all coquinas. Look at this piece of the pen shell. Isn't that beautiful, the iridescent colors of these pen shells? That's just a sliver of a shell. Look at the colors. Beautiful. The sun's a little bright now. Earlier this morning I picked this piece up and it was gorgeous. The iridescence. Very cool. That's just a sliver of a pen shell. Well, there's our beautiful beach looking to the south. Gotta love it. Doesn't get any better than this. Beautiful Saturday morning. Well, I'm gonna wrap up my live feed. A quick reminder, I don't get paid to be out here doing this. If you enjoy it and you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post after the live feed concludes. And remember, I'll post a link to a little higher quality copy of this video on YouTube later on. So check back on Facebook. I'm always adding, some, always posting something, the pictures I've been taking, maybe a couple extra little videos, you never know. Gorgeous. Hey, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.